shall we lift our hands and we want to pray everyone everywhere you want to lift your hands and ask the Lord to make a deposit a deposit into your life this afternoon there is a word for you God brought you here for a reason and you want to ask him to put into you what you need for your life and your ministry imagine an angel inserting a chip that chip can change your life that chip can make you receptive to signals you would never have been able to receive lift your hands and ask the Lord to put something in you ask him to put something into you fill me Lord change my life Lord a word for me a word for my ministry come speedily it cannot be one camp after the other year after year camp after camp do something new Lord do something new Lord lift your hands and pray and believe that he will do it believe that a fire from heaven will enter your life that is what we all need that is what I need that is what you need and as you ask him he will change your life as you ask him, he will do it for you. You can make this camp your reference point. Yes. It's up to you. You can make this camp your reference point. Five years from now, you will refer to this camp as the camp. Kashota Mahandala Bazata. By your spirit. By your spirit. By your spirit, by your spirit, by your spirit, Lord, by your spirit, Lord. Kasha noli mo sandala bakabayande. Shoni li masonda la baba. Sama honda kota la baba. By your spirit, Lord. By your spirit, Lord. Shamo ke bayanda zamayande roni mahoka tala bazanda la baba somebody's change is coming somebody's change is coming somebody's change is coming The moment of someone's transformation is coming. As you pray, lift your hands again for some few seconds. Unless your hands are tired, we are receiving something. We are receiving. Receiving something. Whether you are 16 years or you are 60 years, you are receiving something. Shando Hakatala Bazata. Believe that the hands that are lifted up are receiving something. The Bible tells us that ought to pray. Lifting up holy hands. 
there must be a reason the Bible tells us to lift our hands. I believe that someone is receiving something. No matter where you are in the ministry, you can receive a key to the next floor. No matter where you are in the ministry, you can receive a key now to the next floor. There is something higher than what you are doing now. There is something higher than what you are doing. Sebehandolobosata Karaza Shami Alote Brimihandolobosota Renima Renima Sumahandalaba Sata Ramazandereba. You can only become better. You can only become better. You can only become better. Shataboa Kandela Asa Ranama Sata. Ramazimo Hondele Basata. Ranama, somebody here is stepping out of stagnation. You are breaking out of stagnation. Somebody is entering a new room. Somebody is receiving a new anointing. Makotaba, Menderebe, Shadababa Kaba. Yes, yes, pray. Pray. As much as possible, keep your hand up. Because a key can be put into your hand. Access. 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 Shemahola. Ramamama. Pastor, I don't have a church. This prayer doesn't concern me. You are very wrong. Don't joke with God. His plans for you are bigger than your greatest ideas. Lift your hands and receive something. Lelebo si mahandali adosta karada. She mahola. Zimini satolaba. Randeba zindebo shakababa. Redi sando imande yela kebabosa. Yamahandolobo si miande shahanda. Rosipa Mankoteba Lama Mazimini Handolobo Sata Lababa I can change You can change We can change She can change Kasi Balonda There's a higher realm There's something bigger There's something higher Kelebo Sima Handelebo Satayaba Roni Mamosha, Rama Mama Rama Sata Baba, Kadaba Mama. Two more minutes now. Lift your hands and scream unto the Lord. Give me something, Lord. Give me something. My plane ticket here, the drive here, whether it was a walk or you swam, the price you paid for. Come should not be in vain. Send me a word, Lord. Send me a word, a word, a verse, a statement. Shabahanda Kelebo Sata Baba. One and a half more minutes. Kenimo Sindala Baba. Randebosa. The prayer you are praying is making a way. Kebela, Kebo Sata, Yela Bosa. Rema masi niri banzo dodobo Yima masi mamama Yetobosha kabaya Lamborobo Kemini mo sandalaba One more minute One more minute One more minute Never the same again Never the same again Shekalobo sandalabo Rimama Kabala Zonde Hindelebo Sata Kababa 40 more seconds Shata Babaya Kamaloda Rina Mama Mama Zina Loboso Ramayanda La Baba Press pause 
We have 15 more seconds. And that was, I want you to please lift your hands and ask the Lord. Now, this is a prayer. Lord, let this, I don't know what you call it, whether it's a seminar, what is it? Summit? Whatever it is. And there's no joke about this. Let this, whatever you call it, be a reference point. <laughs> Ten years from now, let me talk about this camp, the summit. Three years, four years, let this be my reference point. Let me always talk about this as the camp or the encounter that changed my life. 15 seconds. Shataya. Lord, you've done it already. You've done it for me already. I have my testimony already. Give me more. Give me more. Give me more, Lord. Give someone his testimony. This camp may not mean anything for everybody except you. It may not have any meaning to everyone here except you. Let it be my camp, Lord. Let it be my summit, Lord. Do it for me, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Can you shout amen? Can it be a little louder? Can we add a hand clap to the shouts? You may please be seated. He speak also this parable. A certain man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard. And he came and sought fruit thereon and found how many? Seven. He found how many? Nine. Is it nine? I can't hear you. He found how many? None. Then said he unto the dresser of his vineyard, Behold, these three years I come seeking fruit on this fig tree and find none. Cut it down with a W at the top. Wait. Why cumbereth it the ground? And he answering said unto him, Lord, let it alone this year also. Tell somebody this is your last year. Can, can you ask the, your neighbor how many camps he's attended so far? Please ask. No, that person's answer will help you to Say, this is your last year with energy. Please turn to your neighbor and ask, how many comes? If you can't count, just say, I cannot count. Then I know how to talk to you. If it is three, 
So ask, how many comes? Is this your first? Then tell the person, from the answer you have given me, tell the person, from the answer you have given me, say, from the answer you have given me, please listen to this one. This is your last year. This is your last year. Tell the person, no more games. No more games. Hallelujah. He said, let it alone this year also. Till I shall dig and dung it. I want to dig and dung it. Verse 7 says, These three years, I come seeking fruit. You know, prophet couldn't have put it in a better way. Yes, that no more jokes. And that Anyone here with a romantic view of what the church is about may be in the wrong church. Yes. You may easily, it's possible that this is not the church for you. This is not the type of church where you you sit down and things are dished out to you. There are a few churches like that, but this is not one of them. Where day after day, Sunday after Sunday, you, you are only sitting down and somebody comes and just puts words into your mouth and commands you to receive and you also receive you up of church. Yeah. In this church, we believe that you also have something to give. Yes. We believe it. We believe that you can do something. It is our belief that as you are sitting here alone, you represent 100 people belief. We believe that as you are sitting here alone, you you represent 1,000 people. And we will fight you until that 1,000 number comes to pass in your life. We will not allow you to have your peace. That's why the verse said, the master came seeking. You would have thought that this tree... Is just there to be receiving sunlight and rain and some weed and some fertilizer. And look, the more rain and fertilizer and care you receive, the greater the indication that we are expecting something from you. Yes. The more you look, every Sunday you receive a sermon from your pastor. It should remind you that we are, we, are, we are feeding you with those sermons so that you produce something. Yes. That is how we become Christians. We don't become Christians by sitting in church receiving messages and receiving declarations and receiving blessings. That is not how God wants to make your life better. That's not how. Don't be misled by the thousands of people, millions who are sitting in churches receiving good sermons. A lot of them are not even Christians to begin with. When we are talking about a proper Christian, somebody like Christ, somebody following Jesus, what did Jesus say? What did he say? He said, when you follow me, I will make you fishers of men. The plan of Jesus is not to give birth to a religion of receivers. 
So your idea is a very, very wrong idea. Your mind that you, some of you have come to the church to look for a husband. Yes. It's not a joke. Please, it's not, no. this is not one of the jokes. But, but you see, what you may not know is that it is very dangerous to come to a place like this for a husband because not everybody around here is correct. To meet the, listen, to meet the right husband, you must be in the right group. Otherwise, you are going to get a drug dealer to marry. Otherwise, you are going to get a fornicator in the church to marry. To get a pastor to marry, you must be in the, in the group yourself. Clap your hands for Jesus. So please be seated. Please be seated. And be, be, be very clear that this year, this is the last year. Yes, the games are over. The games are over. Because God brought you here. God got you saved. Brought you into a great church like this. To make your life nice. And the way he makes our lives nice. Is to get us to produce fruit. Trees that have fruit hanging on them. Are nicer than trees with just leaves. Even, even the fruits introduce another color. Abba. So, 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 we are so blessed that we find ourselves in a camp like this where we are hearing, I come seeking fruit. And I know that soon, for somebody here, it is today. For another person, it is three weeks, three months, three years. But I will advise you to, 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 to assume that you are the today type. And so you are not so hot when, when the master comes. Yes, believe that you are the today type. And as the prophet ministers to us prophetically, believe that this is your time. I am believing God with you that in three years' time, you will talk about this camp as your reference point. You will talk about this camp as the camp you receive energy to serve God. Is it possible? Is, then clap your hands. With a shout, because something great is about to come. You may be seated. There is something beautiful to watch. And I, like I said earlier on, whatever you watch on the screen, it's not a movie. It's not a documentary on YouTube. This is your church. Anything you watch here it will be something about your church. So it, it, must, it must stir up joy and pride and a commitment to let this continue. So please, those in charge of the lights, please turn it off and let's enjoy what is in store for us now. Clap your hands and let's receive it.